Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a May Favorites video. And I'm going to do some beauty products, I'm going to do some fashion products, some books, jewelry, a few different kinds of things. So, let's just go ahead and get started. First off, I have this iPhone 6 case from Wildfire Cases. This was about, I believe, $35, 40 with taxes, and it just says flawless, and then it has WF monogram down here for a wildflower, and I used it basically all of the month of May. I think maybe three out of four weeks of the month, I use this case, and I really like it. I don't have it on my phone now, but that's just because I like to change them up, but I was pretty obsessed with this one for quite a minute. Then I have this ring. I don't know if you can see it. It's probably hard to focus. But this ring is from Pandora. Um, my mom actually bought me a Pandora bracelet for Valentine's Day. And I'm not really a bracelet person. So I said, hey, why can't we exchange it for something else? And she said it was fine just to go ahead and go to the store and that they would exchange it for me. And I did. So... This is how it looks like. It has purple stones all around it. And it's just sterling silver. It's really cute. I love it. Then I have this book right here. It is the Q&A a day for 365 days. So each day you open up the book and you answer the question. And you do this in the five in a five year period, and you just kind of compare your different answers each year, and see how you've matured, how you've grown, and all that kind of stuff. But I think it was pretty cool. I got it off of Amazon, and this cost me, I think, twenty bucks. I, I don't remember honestly. Like I got this at the middle in the middle of January, and I don't remember how much it actually cost me. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Like, it's really hot in here. <laughs> so if I look red or, like, I'm sweating, I apologize. But it's not going to get any cooler in this room, so right now it's, like, the best time to record regardless because there's natural lighting outside. And I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Oh well. So sorry. I apologize if I look hot. Um, let's see. Then I have this perfume right here. This is from Salvatore Ferragamo. And... I got this as a gift, I believe, from my aunt last year for Christmas, or the year before that, I'm not sure, but I don't really like perfumes, but I actually happen to use this one a lot, and I really like it. It smells really fruity, and it's not that strong, it's not overwhelm overwhelming, but it smells strong enough for it to actually, you know, be smelled by other people, if that makes any sense. But it's this cute little bottle. I really like it. And it's the Inc Incanto perfume. So there's that. And now I'm actually going to do my beauty favorites of the month of June. I'm going to start with just this lip balm. Nothing major. It's an EOS lip balm. It actually... Let me put it on. Mmm... <laughs> I don't know why I made just I don't know why I made that song, but regardless, my lips get really, 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 really tough all the time, you know. So I always have to keep this in my bag, and I put it on at least three or four times a day, if not more. So it's just this EOS lip balm. It's really cute. It's like a little egg. Um. Then I have this bra. What would you call this? It's called Gimme Bra by Benefit, and it's just, I forgot what, uh, there you go. It's the Bra Volumizing Fiber Gel in the shade Medium Deep, and I usually get like a gel and a powder, but I decided that I was going to try something different, so when I went to Sephora, I saw this, and I was recommended to, you know, to get this, if I wanted to try something different that, you know, enhanced your eyebrows, it kind of, like, you know, left little fibers already 
attached to your, your natural eyebrow hairs and <coughs> sorry um I was like okay well let me go ahead and try this out and like I said it's called Gimme Bra by Benefit and I really like it it's really easy you just open it it's a little brush and it has little fibers that you just run across from the inner corner to the outer <coughs> part of your bra and it works really nice I actually have it on right now I don't know if you guys can see it and I think my eyebrows look pretty good I haven't done them for about a week now so considering that I think they look pretty good and obviously I do put concealer around my eyebrows sometimes I don't always put makeup on or do my eyebrows every day for work because I do work Monday through Friday but I did them today because I was going to record a video after I got off work and I think it looks pretty good that's just my opinion though then I have this lipstick in number three called crystal cream pink and it's in the like nude pinkish light brownish shade I really like it I usually put kind of the same lip liner color around my lips to make them look a little more you know fuller and then I put this on and I really like this lipstick I actually stole it from my sister don't tell her but <laughs> yeah it's really 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 nice on me and it's by Estee Lauder I really like it I think I've worn this maybe at least every other day and on weekends both Saturday and Sunday I wear it for sure then I have this mascara by Maybelline the Falsies Volume Express <coughs> and what I do I curl my eyebrows first and then I apply this on t I mean curl my eyelashes not my eyebrows what am I talking about but I curl my eyelashes and then I put this on and oh my god it completely makes it look like I have false eyelashes but this does tend to get a little clumpy that's the only con to it and also it like stays on there forever and as far as I know it is not I don't think it's waterproof so I don't know I don't know if it just why it stays there like so long it says it's a hydrofuge I don't know if that means anything, but I haven't heard of that, and it's really hard to take off my eyelashes. That's, you know, the thing that I don't like, so I'll probably try something different this month. I do have other mascaras, but I'm not, you know, quite interested in putting them on. Like, I put them on maybe once or twice, and I didn't like it, so I stuck to this, which I like the volume it gives me and, like, the false eyelash kind of look, but it's just, it's too clumpy, and it stays on there for too long maybe like two three days I'll be rubbing it off and rubbing it off and it's still on there it's ridiculous then I have these two products last but not least for my beauty favorites of the month and this is by Bella Terra Mineral Cosmetics and what these are this one right here is a mineral foundation in the shade ivory <coughs> and I really like this one I usually put a BB cream on first and then I'll apply this and this is a powder foundation so I put this on sometimes sometimes I only put on the BB cream if I try to get you know more flawless kind of airbrush type of look then I'll put this on but I don't try to put too much heavy makeup throughout the week because at the end of the day I'm only going to work ain't trying to impress nobody there I mean I ain't trying to impress, impress nobody period like in life to be honest so yeah <laughs> So I usually just put on BB cream or like no makeup on my face and that's honestly one of the things that helped me manage such clear skin throughout the years because when I used to wear heavier makeup I think it would break out a lot more and it didn't look good. So I stopped using so much face makeup and I rarely use it now but <coughs> this was sold to me in one of the kiosks in the mall by my house and she kind of just stopped me you know in the middle of me trying to leave the mall when I already had spent way too much money and I was like okay whatever let me listen to her she had done her makeup really nice she always looks really good every time I go to the mall I'm like wow that girl's makeup is on point on fleek 
So I was like, okay, let me check it out. And I actually brought the, I actually bought the brushes that go with, for the foundation and the blush and I think the concealer. But I mean, the brushes don't really like amaze me. They're not like, oh my God. But then again, I don't have really too much experience with different kinds of brushes. Usually I used to use my fingers. So who knows, maybe they are good brushes and I'm just not a good critique of that. Then I also got the Mineral Matte Bronzer. I mean matte. I don't know why I said matte. But the Mineral Matte Bronzer in the shade Terra. And I really like this. I love bronzer. I do have like pink blushes and different kind of blushes. But I prefer to put a bronzer on. I feel like it kind of eliminates my face more. And it makes me look a lot more exotic. If you can if you want to say that I guess. And it makes like my cheekbones look really defined. And I really like that look. So that is all for my beauty favorites. Now I'm going to show you a shirt that I bought at Forever 21. And it's nothing like wow. But basically this is what it is. And it's like a floral mesh jersey. And it's not too long actually. It kind of like crops like right above or right below my midsection, you know. So even though it kind of looks long, I thought it would fit like my whole body, but I'm kind of on the bigger side, so no, it did not. It did not fit my whole upper torso, upper upper torso. But regardless, I like it, and I usually just wear this with a tank top under it because it is mesh and it's see-through, like it has holes in it. So yeah, I put that on, and then like a black bra under it, and then just put some shorts and some sneakers. It looks cute like that. It was really comfortable, and trust me. I am a major fan of comfy clothes, especially being a mom of two. Like, I'm trying to be comfortable at all times if possible. Now I have my sneakers. I love these sneakers. These are my Nike Freeruns 5.0s, which I usually don't get too many brand name sneakers, but I thought that these were cute and a lot of people have the rubber shades which I did ask for those at first and I don't know it didn't just, it didn't look right on me the like this the sole of it was just it was too thick and it made me look kind of weird my ankles look weird and I was just like nah I'm good and so many people have just cut me off so hopefully that's a good angle because I didn't check the angle right now since I'm recording myself but I was just talking about my shoes like I said I usually don't get too many brand name sneakers but that was sort of a splurge for me and I like them a lot and I actually got the insoles that go in them and to make my feet a little tighter in the sneaker but regardless they look pretty good I mean they feel pretty good <laughs> and lastly I have two bags this is a little backpack that I got from Target and looks like this. It just has the backpack straps. A little strap up here so you can just hold it. It has two pockets on the side, one little bigger pocket in the front, and then you know just the main area to put your stuff in and the drawstring. And it's like in this kind of like fake leather material and it's a tan color and I really like it. I just got this at the end of May, but I love it. Like, I really love this bag, and I've been wanting, like, a little backpack like this, and I've been using it, like, a ton. And my last June, I mean, May favorite <laughs> is this bag right here. I got this bag. It kind of reminds me, I mean, it's definitely not, you know, anywhere near as expensive as the Celine bags, but it reminds me of the Celine bags just the style of it and it has the two arm straps and then the shoulder strap up here and I guess I could take it off but I always leave it on because sometimes I use it as a diaper bag instead of just my you know regular daily purse and it's just black with you know the gold detailing gold zipper and I really like it when I want to use a lot of when I want to bring with me a lot of things I usually use this bag because obviously my other backpack is not going to fit too many stuff. So I usually take that just to work. This is the bag that I use mostly at the month of May. Because like I said, that backpack, I got it like towards the last few days of May. But regardless, they they were both really, 
really useful to me for different purposes like I said this one I use more of a diaper bag that one I uh, use for my personal use but I got this from H&M and I believe it was $39.99 and I think it's pretty 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 good quality for you know the, the cost and there's actually some like braiding right here it's a really cute bag but yeah basically that was you know my monthly favorites for the month of June I keep trying to say June my monthly favorites for the month of May and I hope you like this video if you do thumbs up the video if you're seeing my face for the first time most definitely click on the subscribe button and let me know whatever videos you would like to see from me just comment down on the box below in the comment section and I am going to leave a description of each item that I featured in this video with where it's from, the description of the item, and around, you know, approximately how much it costs me. So, once again, like I said, thumbs up, subscribe, and I will talk to you on my next video. Video. Bye. This video is going to have so many mistakes, but whatever. This is the first time that I do a monthly favorites video, so don't judge. Just subscribe. Don't hate. Bye.